let's look at how we can make frequency tables. We're going to start off with the data that we have on 100 employees that work at a, a lumber company. And we've got how many hours they work, their education, their income, their age, and their sex. And let's say we want to make a frequency table indicating their education. What we can do is we click in any place in this table to let Excel know that we're dealing with this table of information. We go to Table Tools and Design, and we want to summarize with a pivot table. We're going to make a pivot table with the frequency distribution. So I click on Summarize with a pivot table, and it says, what table do I want to use? It guessed right, so we're going to leave that alone. It says, where do you want the pivot table? In a new worksheet or an existing worksheet? A new worksheet would be a different tab down here. Now I want it in the existing worksheet. And for the location, I'm going to choose the, you choose the upper left-hand uh, corner. So I'm going to choose H3. And we press OK. And here we have the pivot table fields tool. We are interested in education, so I'm going to click education. And that puts educations down here in the values. Now we don't want to add people's education together. We want to count how many people got each level of education. So I'm going to change this sum of education. I'm going to click this down arrow. I'm going to change the value field settings. And I'm going to change it from sum to count. So this is the value field settings. I'm going to change it to count. Press OK. And now we've got the count of education. Now, in our table, I want each row to indicate what the education is. So I'm going to drag education into the rows. So I dragged education into rows. And here it's given us a grouping of different uh, educational levels. Now we go 8, so it's like junior high education, 10th grade education, 11th grade education. Uh, this one guy, he almost graduated but didn't quite. 12 years is where you graduate. 14 is typically a trade school degree or a community college degree. 16 is a four-year college degree. And 18 would be a master's degree. Now, we want to, uh, to group these uh, a little bit tighter because they're kind of like going all over. And we could put somebody, we could put like the 10s, 11s, and 11.5s together. That might be OK. Let's click inside the table here, the pivot table, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose group. And what we need to do is we can start at 8, that sounds good, end at 18, but we want to group it not by just one year, by two years to make the frequency bins a little bit more narrow. I'm going to put in a 2, and I'm going to go OK. And so here we've got, this is, this is easy to read, one person had 8 to 10, 11, 10 to 12, and so on, except it's a little ambiguous because how many people got a 10th grade education? Ooh, we don't know if it's 11 or 1. Well, the way that Excel does this is that when it says this is 8 to 10, this really isn't 8 to 10. It's really 8 to 9.999999 and so on, and this is where 10 begins. And that's true for all of these, except for the final one, where it, um, uh, uh, the 18s are included in there. So we need to remove the ambiguities. So I'm going to call these, since I know it really doesn't go up to 10, I'm going to call these something less than 10. Now, I could call it 9.99, but we know that when we record people's grades, we only do it by half-step uh, intervals. So I'm going to call this 9 to 8 to 9.5. The next one is going to be 10 to 11.5. So we know these are the people that started uh, high school, almost made it through, but didn't quite. 12 through 14 is 13.5. So these are people that graduated from high school, but didn't graduate from trade school. 14 to 15.5. They made it past community college or trade school, but they didn't graduate from a four-year college. And then we've got 16 to 18. Now, let's, uh, let's go back to, to group. And we really want to go up to 20. 
So let's change this to the 20 so that the 16s and the 20s won't be uh, put together there. So we do that. And now we've got, we see that there are, we separated, there's 14 people that graduate from, graduate from college, 18 people that, uh, or eight people that graduate from grad school. Oh, we got to go back and change our groupings here because it put the uh, ambiguous ones in. We always want to remove ambiguities because when people, the reason we're having a date, we're making tables is to make them easier to read to communicate information quickly. This will be 14 to 15.5. This will be 16 to 17.5. So this will be people that graduated from college and might have done some grad school. And then the 18 to 20, we don't really have anybody that did more than 18. If we go over to this education and sort from the largest to smallest, we said 18 is as high as it goes. So we can just change this to 18, or we could say 18 and above. You could do either one. I'll do 18 plus. And then that we have how many people? So we had one person that just finished junior high, uh, uh, 11 who started high school but didn't graduate, 62 who graduated from high school, four from trade school, 14 from college, and eight went to grad school, which uh, is a uh, um, probably a little less educated than the typical uh, American, but this is a lumber company with a lot of people doing uh, uh, manual labor. Now, the row labels, that's, that title's not useful, so let's change this to education, and this is going to be frequency. And there we've got all of this table is now a lot clearer. 